one grid power 60 here all right i've got uh, a couple of things that i want to to do and to talk about update you on things um i was watching um some videos and the hashtag was 100 things 2021 and i guess what it is is that without purchasing anything using what you already have um it's uh, make 100 things um, they could all be separate things and um, you just make things from what you have and I thought I would join that I've kind of written it down on my little daily planner paper that I have here and um, I have these little composition books I've got this little book here and I've got these um, little books that I had picked up from the Dollar Tree a long time ago and I've got another one here that um, I can use or I also have this one that has never been opened change your thoughts and you can change the world um, and this is another one that I thought maybe I could use for keeping track of my 100 things now since we are in stay-at-home orders and only essential things like pharmacies and groceries um, are open and Dollar Tree can only sell food items so everything else is blocked off same with Walmart and any of the other big book stores box stores rather so I thought that would be awesome for me to do. So um, I kind of like this one because I can flip it around and use it. I can also tape things in it and I can also put samples of things if I want to or make notes of things that I would like to try and do. And now I showed you in my last video where I, I was kind of playing around with all kinds of things. And basically that's about the same thing that's what I want to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start I know a lot of them have started probably March February and so on or even January doing these 100 things so I thought that I would start this little booklet I'm going to put a little embellishment on here with the little notes on it uh, starting in 2021 and for however long it takes to do 100 things, I am going to, um, I'm going to do that. So that's the one thing that I wanted to talk about. That's the crafty sort of stuff. The other thing that I, I, I'm, you know, birthdays, getting older, all those things, things come to mind. And with the pandemic, and I should have, I should have, well, I've been thinking about this actually for a couple of years, but I think the pandemic and, and with our third and possible fourth wave coming, um, you know, the things are getting pretty serious. You know, for a while it was all the uh, elderly people getting COVID and now it seems that a lot of the variants are attacking our young people. And so I think this is a good idea no matter what your age, however, because my family, I've had to deal with Alzheimer's, dementia, uh, people who lose their ability to remember things. Um, I think it's important that you have a little booklet and I'm probably going to either use something like this or probably more than likely something like this. And I'm going to um, create a book for myself and what that book is it's all about me and when you live alone or when you're caring for someone who has dementia there are a lot of things you wish you knew especially if you hadn't lived with them before or if they go into care with someone else it's always good to have a book of things of likes and dislikes um, 
allergies, doctors, um, any particular care, all of those things are really, really important to keep a book, keep something. Um, and that's what I'm going to create here. And it's probably going to be one of my 100 things that I want to create. Um, there are things like, you know, foods that you hate. I mean, most people like most foods, but there are certain foods you either can't eat or you hate. Um, things you're allergic to, things that you love, things that you love to do, things that you um, enjoy having around you, whatever that may be. Uh, temperatures, for instance, myself, I cannot sleep in a warm room. I have to have a fan. I have to have the window open. Winter, summer, um, mind you, sometimes in winter I have to close the window, but I sleep better in a cold room. I would rather have 10 blankets and have a cold room, but that's my particular. There are other people who love to have just a sheet and a warm room. Uh, my mother likes warmth, both of, of those things. So, you know, um, do you sleep on your stomach? Do you sleep on your back? Um, what do you like to wear to bed? What do you like to wear during the day? Um, important phone numbers, doctors and, and banks and wills and lawyers and so on. And then your wishes, like for life support, for your death, for your property. Do you have a will? All of those things I want to put into a book and I'm going to have it all about me. And I'm just going to, every now and then, I will come up with something. I'll keep a little notepad beside the book. And every time I want to decorate this, I want to be able to put in there all the things that I think would be important for someone who never lived with me, for someone who wouldn't know um, things that I need, things that I must take, medications, um, not medications. Um, I mean, silly things. I mean, at, at TMI, I mean, you know, whether you do a bowel movement once a week, every day, every second day, what is your norm? Um, your eating um, capacity. Are you a big eater or a small eater? Um, mind you, as you get older, you know, things like that change. But I think it's important to keep a little book. If you've made arrangements for a funeral, if, you've, if you have wishes about your burial, whatever type it might be, whatever it may be, I think it's important to have an all about me book to keep all of the information in there. It may sound silly to you, but if you develop dementia or Alzheimer's, and you can no longer tell people um, what your needs are, what your strengths are, what what you what you cannot stand. I mean, things change, of course, but I just I I've been thinking about this for a couple of years, and I don't know why I didn't start it sooner. And I think I've mentioned it uh, in a video uh, when I did my series on elder care. I just think it's important. So I think with the 100 things that I'm going to be doing, I am going to um, keep track of my 100 things because I can't shop. And I, believe me, could probably open a shop with all the things I do have. You've seen them all. Um, I need a swig of something here. You know, what things do you enjoy? Do you like watching movies? Do you enjoy the news? Do you like game shows? Do you like different things? Things that people wouldn't know about you. It's important to have a little book with all those little idiosyncrasies that are truly you, that should, for some reason, you have a stroke, you can't speak, you can't communicate, there's a little book all about you that tells people your wishes, 
your likes, your dislikes, all about you, what pills you take, um, you know, things like that. Do you like flowers? Are you allergic to flowers? Do you, you know, do you like doing crafts? Do you like, you know, puzzles? Do you like reading? Do you like knitting? And, and all of those things. Now, I know that as we get older, we like mom, for instance, mom could sew, she could crochet, macrame. She just had to look at something and she knew how to do it. Um, knitting. She was even knitting the first couple of years we were here. And then suddenly she started having trouble and then she put it away and she hasn't touched it, I think, in about two or three years because um, she doesn't remember how anymore. So we've got boxes of wool, boxes of things that mom has knitted. And um, I don't know, someday I might put them all together. But things like that, you know, what you enjoy now. I mean, if you can't speak, but you can still function, there are things that people, it's just important for people to know. Anyway, I'm going on way too long about that, way too long. But I just wanted to bring that up to you to, to talk about those two things. So part of my, um, I'm going to keep this book out here, put this one away. So part of my, um, little book here and I'm starting it in April 2021 hashtag 100 things 2021 and then we can start number one you can write it down number two number three and I will continue so what I plan on doing is, um, as I do my crafting, as I um, continue to experiment and play, um, I will include that in my 100 things for 2021. And perhaps even make a list of um, things I'd like to try and do or whatever. Or um, if I if there's a particular um, video that I need to rewatch, I can keep a track of that in here. So it's just kind of keeping track of crafting while I can't shop, <laughs> which is going to be great. So today I am just going through some of my six by six. I've got tons, absolutely tons. But there's so many beautiful pages in this particular um, grouping that I just I just think are absolutely beautiful. And um, I thought while I had a chance today, I would go through. See, this is beautiful. And this I can uh, fussy cut and use that for, um, it's quite thick almost like cardboard. Oh no, there's two of them here. <laughs> it's still quite thick. Um, and these beautiful pages. And I want to be able to make something really pretty. And I've got more here. And this is, this is one of my, um, my, my paper I got at Multicraft that I have in this grouping and stuff like that. So that is what I'm going through. I'm just looking at these and then see what I can make out of a 12 by 12, uh, 12, 6 by 6. Now, I think these are either 6 by 6 or something odd. Oh, no, they are. Yep, they're 6 by 6. I had some in there that were a little smaller, and I didn't know why. It must have been from an odd pad. So since these are so pretty, I'd like to be able to keep them that size. So I'm going to try and come up with some kind of booklet to put together. And I was looking at these envelopes that I had made and thought perhaps um, I could include these in here somewhere. So I've got to come up with something that, I mean, that is something I'm looking at right now. I'm just looking at what I can do. I've got these envelopes that I thought I could make some um, 
Oh, what do we call them? Pocket um, envelope, pocket let, not pocket letters. I keep calling them pocket letters. Um, little notebooks and stuff like that. So I'll probably put it this way. Put it in backwards. And then maybe add a couple more to it. I've also got, um, I think I mentioned I had picked these up at the multi-craft store. And these are these little um, coin envelopes. They're a little bit big for that. But I might be able to use them in that. Anyway, so I'm preparing. I just wanted to let you know what I plan on doing. I have to sit down now and decide what is the first thing I'm going to do. Now, I started with those letters. I can, if I can find them somewhere in here, but that's okay. Um, they're hiding. Here they are. I thought I would continue and, and do some more of these letters. Oops, I got it all tangled up here. In with my cute little shaker tea bags. Now, so since I've done a few of these, I thought I might as well um, do some more of these letters and use more of this and use my heating tool. I've got it beside me here to do these. So I think maybe this is going to be my first um, project on my 101 things is to, um, what shall I call it? Color. I'm just going to write it down here. Color alpha letters with metallic crayons. And then I'll be able to use these um, whenever I'm doing projects. I'll be able to, you know, if I'm making a an envelope thing, I can use some of these letters just to decorate them. I think that would be really cool. Alrighty, so that's what I'm going to do today. I am just going to take the colors out and just randomly color them. Now I think what I'll do is I will um, color one. Let's use the letter Q here. I'll color one with one I haven't. Now I haven't used this gold one yet. So what I'm going to do is I go around the edges and then I'm going to color it in and as soon as it's all colored in I'll be back to with my heating tool and show you what I do. All right. Now it is a little bit hot, so you have to be careful. <clears throat> now, let's see if I can get it to sparkle for you. It's dry now, and it does not feel like any wax residue. I'm always checking in the center to make sure that all... Oops, sorry, I just knocked over there. But I hope you can see the sparkle 
in this queue. And that is what I do. As you can see, these are both sparkly. They're all sparkly. <sighs> now I've got quite a job ahead of me to do all of these letters, but I think they'll be worth um, keeping. I don't know if I'm going to do them all. I've already got an A. I'd like to do some of these like Z and X, things that I might not use too, too often. J's. Um, I would probably use, so I can use these for covering them with other, you know, maybe other paint. But for now, I want to use these crayons and continue on with the rest of these. So that is my project number one, getting these letters prepared for um, using for different ephemera pieces or different projects where I might want to use, you know, the letter Z somewhere on one of these or the letter X. But it would be nice if it was all colored like that. So I am going to continue on. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you got a little bit out of what I talked about in the book all about me. I think it's an important investment. Um, even if it's only a page, a few items, I just think it's important for family to know um, certain things about you that they may not know or you know even a spouse may not think of or remember at a time of tragedy or a time of scariness that um, you know it may take you know kids to say dad don't you remember she doesn't like this or you know something to that effect anyway it's always nice to have those things prepared for yourself so thanks for joining me on my number one, one hashtag 100 things 2020, where I am going to be using my stash and I have a lot of stickers. I'm going to try and come up with something to do with those stickers. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.